Greetings and salutations to YouTube, it's Adrian here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be doing a thrift haul. So if you're interested in seeing the thrifting video for this particular haul, hit the little eye right there. That window will pop out and you can select the video there along with playlists for my other thrifting videos, haul videos, handbag rehabs, and vlogs. And if you'd like to have it done so already, don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at hadrian.com where I will have um, some of these items up for sale and a lot of other stuff that I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into this haul. I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got because I got some pretty good stuff. Um, I think I'm going to start off though with the toys. I went a little crazy and the color of the day um, was purple yesterday and anything that's purple was half off and I saw a couple good toys that I had to get for the boys so of course I had to get them. Um, <clears throat> This one is a toy, but this one wasn't actually half off, but had to get it anyway. Um, I feel like the Goodwill is such a great place to shop for kids' toys, especially because kids just sometimes they outgrow their, to their toys so quickly, or they'll end up just breaking them, or they get tired of them really quickly. Um, so I think that it's such a great place to go um, finding stuff. And this, like, little Mickey Mouse, um, kind of like workbench, is super cool. It actually still works. Hold on, let me turn it on. Like, Eliza's gonna go crazy. He's really obsessed with tools right now. And this doesn't come with, like, any of the tools or anything, but he already has so many that he can just use this with it. And it does have a couple of things. It has, like, the little screw. It has, like, the little cutting thing. It has the little screw, whatever that is. And I think this is gonna be perfect for him. This was only $5.99, which is so cheap. I'm just gonna spray it down with Lysol, let it sit for a few minutes, hose it down, wipe it dry, and then let them like have at it. I think they're gonna have so much fun with this. Um, Zach and Eliza in particular are gonna have a lot of fun with this guy. So I'm really excited to have found it for them. And I cannot wait to give it to them right after this video. Um, oh, it's still talking. <laughs> um, okay, so up next, I have two other um, toys. Now, this one is a... What is this? Uh, Robots in Disguise Transformers. Um, toy, a bunch of like little cars and stuff. Zach is gonna go crazy for this. I think he's gonna have a lot of fun. <coughs> Excuse me. I still have this lingering cough like going on. It's like really annoying. Um, and uh, Mickey obviously agrees with me. He's still talking. But um, this one was $7.99, so this was about $9. Um, but it had everything in it, and it's yeah, they love Transformers, they love cars, so. The kids are going to go crazy for this. And then last but not least, I got this um, Star Wars, like, I don't know what this is, actually. What is this? What kind of thing is this? I just know that this is Captain Poe from Star Wars, but I don't know what this, um, resi a resistance ski speeder, I guess, is what the air, what the, what this spaceship is called, so... This was really cool. Poe is actually right there. So he's actually inside there. I thought he was missing, but he was just turned around, I guess, inside the box. Because um, I opened it up and everything was in there. This was $25, so this was about, like, $12.50. Uh, so really excited for this guy. Um, so, yeah. Really great toy. Kids love Star Wars. They love trucks and cars and all that stuff. So... I think they're gonna have get a kick out of those toys. Um, but let me show you. Oh, and then since we're on the topic of the kids stuff, it has been pretty cold in the mornings here recently. I know it's not as cold as other places in the world. And here in Southern California, I guess it's cold for them. And <coughs> excuse me, the flooring in the house um, downstairs is like really cold. So. They always lose their slippers, so I just got them all new slippers. They all match. They're all like these Chewbacca slippers, which I think are so cute. So I got a pair for each of the kids so they can't fight. They're all going to have the same ones, and these are for Cade. So I'm super excited about these. I think they're super cute, and now I'm just going to like force them to wear these. And they have little grip things on the floor too, or the floor, on the bottom, so that they grip the floor so they don't slip. And that is perfect, because I feel like I got them some other ones and they didn't have good grips, so I think these are pretty good. So, I'm excited about these guys. So these are going to go to the kids, um, right after this video, I'm going to 
have them wear them. <laughs> I'll put it in the vlogs if any of you guys want to see them wearing them. Um, it'll be there. Um, okay, and then up next, this was really cool. So I was really excited about this. Cade is obsessed with ice cream sandwiches, and I don't know what it is about ice cream sandwiches, but he loves them. He just loves like the plain ones, kind of like the you know those chocolate, like the chocolate, like cookie thing, and then. He actually likes ice cream chocolate, or ice cream chocolate, chocolate ice cream in the inside of it, instead of vanilla, but he loves vanilla too. But, um, check these out. They are like the little molds that you can use to make, like, the ice cream sandwiches. And I think this is so cute. There's a cow, a star, and a pig. Um, it's still in the box. I uh, looked at like I looked at them. They look like they've never been used. Like the kind of like the box was kind of just open, and then like no one really cared for them anymore. Um, these were only a dollar ninety nine. Uh, originally fourteen dollars at Williams Sonoma. So I'm super excited about these, and I told mom about them. She's super excited too. We're totally gonna make some of these. So hopefully they come out really good and actually look like they do in the picture. Cause this is how they look in the picture. Like they look scrum diddlyumptious. They look amazing. So hopefully our um, ice cream sandwiches look as good as these do. Ooh, that made me kind of red looking, huh, after I showed you that. The colors are messed up in the video. Um, but yeah, so that's that's really cool. I'm excited about that. And so is mom. And then uh, let me show you these shoes that I got. These were um, also half off because the color was purple. And I've actually been eyeing these for a little while. And I didn't get them because... Um, the size is a little large. I believe these are a size size 10. And I have a size 10 pair of Tory Burches and I'm like I I feel like there's not a lot of people that out there that are looking for shoes in that size 10 at least like where I'm selling them. Um so I don't really pick them up if they're too expensive, but these were 6.99 so they were 3.50 um when they were on sale half off and these are just like really cute Kate Spade sandals. Like these are perfect for summer. Like they're just fun and breezy and really pretty and cute. So and they're I don't think they're in pretty bad. I think they're pretty good condition. Um, there's a little bit of like markings right there and then the bottoms don't look horrible. So I think these are really cute. I don't know. I wish I knew someone that was actually a size 10 so I could just give them to them. But I just picked them up just in case there's anyone out there who is a size 10. Check out those case spades in the shop. And I'm also going to have um, those Tory Burches still up in there as well. The, oh, while we're on the topic of shoes, I actually have these right here too. I totally forgot about these. Now, I love finding these at the Goodwill. They're so exciting. Um, these are some Tory Burch flats. Um... This is the second time in this exact same store that I found black Tory Burch flats that look exactly the same as these. Um, these are actually not in horrible condition. The bottoms are not too worn in. Um, the exterior leather just needs a little bit of TLC. Um, there's a little bit of like wear right there, but um, I think just like cleaning it up and then I'm just going to um, do like a color refresh on them. And then I might put like a coat of... Um, acrylic paint right there so that it doesn't like continue scuffing that's what I that's what I love too about black leather um sometimes when you have like a little scuff or something you can fill it in with the acrylic paint um so that's what I'm going to be doing with these if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to do it let me know and I will do them let me know in this video because this video is going to go up and then I'll try and hold off on fixing these um I just want to know if anyone's interested in seeing how to do that repair on shoes um, before I do it, um, or I might just stick it inside a vlog or something, so I'll definitely stick it inside the vlog, but, um, if you want a formal tutorial, let me know, but these shoes are so cute, who doesn't love little, um, Tory Burches, and, yeah, so cute, I'm really excited, these are a size, what size are these? They're always hidden from me. The sizes of these shoes. I want to say that they're a size 6. Where are the things on these? Does anyone know where the sizes are? The last ones that I found still had like the little stickers on the bottom of them. Which is why I knew what size they were. These I feel like also kind of look like a size 6. I'm going to have my mom or sister try them on. 
so that I know for sure what size they are. Is it underneath the sticker? No, the other one doesn't have. Anyway, I will figure out the size for you guys and have that up when these go up as well. <coughs> but I'm, I think there were six and a half, maybe a seven. All of you guys know for sure though. Um, up next I have, now I had to get this, I just thought it was really cool. And it's just this, um, like kind of like a fur clutch. And this is, I forgot where it's from. It's not like any like major brand or anything. Um, oh, this was $4.99. I think it was like Coldwater Creek or something like that. Oh, here's the tag. Um, no. Oh, Ann Taylor. That's where it's from. So Ann Taylor. Um, this is leather, and this is just like a faux kind of fur deal, but it looks like feathers, and I, I really like it. I'm actually like living for this right now. Like I kind of, like I would just turn this into like a pillow or something. Like just put it upside down and put it on a, like stuff it. That, oh my god, like, I would totally do that. Um, if no one's interested in this, I'm gonna turn it and use it as a pillow and pretend that it's a pillow. Um, but it's so cute, like the, like the faux fur is adorable. I love the pattern. I think it's really cool. And yeah, so there's that. And Taylor, beautiful. Then uh, I'll just continue on with small leather goods. I have this gorgeous little orange fossil wallet. I love the orange that this is, and the wallet is in impeccable condition. It's so good. The interior is this beautiful, like, blue color. So pretty. Um, and check that out. It's just so cute. And this guy was just $3.99, so really excited about this beautiful wallet. So if anyone's interested, this is going to be up in the shop. Then I have this other wallet. Now this one is, uh, I am really excited about this one. This is a Michael Kors wallet, black with silver hardware. It has like the little dongle on there. Um, this guy was only $5.99. I don't know why they put the sticker on the underside of the thing, but that's totally cool. Um, it does have like a little mark right there. I haven't tried cleaning it, but it's black. So even if I can't get it off, I can just like do a touch up on it and it'll come right out, which I think is like really exciting. Um, the interior just opens up beautifully. I love, there's, I feel like wallets that open up completely that are zippers are few and far between. I feel like they usually always like are kind of like an accordion, um, which like I guess they have like they're good and bad. Like if it's like an accordion, like if you can't open it like that, like everything's not gonna fall out. If it's like the accordion kind of just opens like that, everything kind of just like stays contained. Um, but I don't know, I just like being able to like open it and look at everything. I don't know if that's just me. But um, $5.99, this wallet is in a fantastic condition. Um, just a little bit of like wear right there, but I think I can just clean it. I think it's just like a little dirt. Um, so it's a beautiful wallet. I love it immensely. A little bit of markings on the hardware, but I feel like it's no big deal really. And I think it looks fantastic. So there's that. And then up next, this one is a Levenger. So I got this, I actually have this tote in the natural colored canvas. I thrifted it, I think like two years ago and I literally still own it. Um, I really like it a lot. I think I'm gonna take it out and then kind of use it as like a shopping bag. Um, or I don't know, do you guys want, like I'm, I'm gonna put this one up in the shop. I think I'll put both of them up. Um, this one just, it's just a little dusty. It just needs to be cleaned, but it's in fantastic condition. It has brown leather and then the canvas is black. I think it's such a sleek combination. The interior is in fantastic shape. Um, it is missing the pouch, but that's like really no big deal. Um, and it, it has like pockets and things for your pen. I just really like this tote a lot. I love this style and I think it's just really chic and classic and beautiful and this canvas just feels like heaven. It feels so good. It's such a nice canvas and it's a beautiful bag. And then, um, I think this is the last item that I have to share with you guys. Is it the last thing? I think it is. Now this is the last item I have to share with you guys and it is a beautiful vintage black coach briefcase. This is the first time I found one like this. Um, I found quite a few coach briefcases in my time, but this is the first one I found in this particular style. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love like the buckles. Oh, and it has, this one's a triple compartment and um, 
beautiful. The interior is in great shape. Just needs a little conditioning and cleaning and this bag is going to look literally brand new. It has um, brushed silver hardware and whoop, there it goes, buckles in. It has a pocket in the back which also has a zipper pocket and it has a key fob which I think is really cool. You can stick your keys back there, you won't lose them. Still has a little fob on there as well and then a nice crossbody strap in this bag is so like substantial that you're just feeling it it feels like a million bucks the leather is soft it's amazing and it's in great shape honestly just needs a little conditioning and a little touch up and it's going to be perfect and good to go and i believe this one i don't know why this one was priced so low i think i got it for was it 15 or 25 it didn't have a sticker on it but i asked and they they were like 15 or 25 or something and then they had another one that was like I think it was 40 or 60. It looked almost the same as this, but it was actually really worn and was like torn in the back corner, so I didn't end up getting it. Um, I think I showed it in the video. I, yeah, it's like in the beginning of yesterday's video, so check that out. Um, but yeah, it was like, I was like really surprised, but beautiful bag. I'm so excited. This was actually behind the counter at the register. I was like, oh, can I see that briefcase over there, please? And then I was like looking through it, didn't have a price, and then they just price it up there for me but that rounds out today's haul thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me and checking out um this haul video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up that always helps exponentially and don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell button for notifications and don't forget to tune in tomorrow and if you guys again want to see this thrifting video for this haul um check out the video from yesterday morning and um love you guys so much thank you guys again for all your support you guys mean the world to me and um adios bye <laughs>